Hello friends. Now we will show you how to deploy N8N on the Coolify platform and also how to set up your own database infrastructure on a separate network. We will deploy this in the same way on the Coolify platform. First, let's create a project from here. Since we will install N8N here, we'll call it N8N. Then we click on production. Then we say add new resource. Since N8N is available in the Coolify library, it's enough to just type N8N here. N8N can be installed in two ways, with its own database or as pure N8N. I prefer to install pure N8N. We deploy it. Our N8N container now seems to have started successfully. Since it's newly installed, the services light up in yellow. A small triangle warning symbol appears next to the running section. This indicates that the services are still in the loading phase. After a while, the triangle disappears and the service turns from yellow to green. This indicates that our service has started working smoothly. There is a link here. Coolify has created a domain within itself to reach N8N. When you click this link, you normally get an error. The reason is that there is no SSL and N8N works with SSL by default. Normally, you can disable SSL by making different configurations, but it is not a healthy method. Therefore, we need to add a domain first. We saw this screen during the installation phase. By clicking on Settings, you can add your own domain in the service section. I didn't add a domain to show you the error. Now I'm adding my address test.bimsay.org. We say Save, then we go back. After saying Save, we get a warning. It says we need to restart the container for the changes we made to take effect. We restart the container. The service is now getting back up. We wait for the triangle sign to disappear. Until it disappears, let's make a forwarding record to our domain. My domain is registered with Cloudflare. We switch to the Cloudflare panel. Here we need to add an A record. I will set it up as a subdomain. So I already have a domain, but I will connect N8N as a subdomain, not the main domain. For example, we write test, and here we enter the IP address of our server. Then we save. After saving, we return to our panel. As you can see from the link, our domain has changed. When we click it, it directs us to our subdomain and a new N8N registration screen opens. Here, we fill out a short survey. Then we enter our email address. N8N sends us a license. The license comes to your email. It may take a few minutes. You can activate the incoming license key from the panel, or you can directly activate it by clicking the button in the email. After the license is saved, we return to the home page. Our N8N installation is now complete. Now I will show you how to set up our open source database. We come to the Coolify panel again. We click on the Projects tab. From here, we add a new project. Let's write Supabase as the project name, or you can give it any name you want. Then we click on Production, and we say Add New Resource. Since Supabase is available in the Coolify library, it is enough to write Supabase. Supabase has many services. You can also do the domain setting from the Settings section. You can create a domain or add your own domain or subdomain. For example, you can define it as database.domain.com. I will leave it like this for now. The loading phase continues. 
I want to make a few warnings. You may encounter errors in the logs section. If you receive errors like container not healthy or failed to start, it is due to insufficient hardware. Therefore, you need to upgrade your server to one of the higher packages. If you only want to install N8N on your server, a server with one core and two gigate RAM will suffice. However, if you wish to set up a database with an interface, you need to upgrade to a server with at least four gigabyte RAM and two cores. This will suffice for a long time performance-wise. Normally, you can perform database installations without enlarging your server. However, using a database without an interface is a real pain. Therefore, setting up Supabase is very beneficial. The installation is complete. Since we did not create a domain, we click on the default domain. It asks for a username and password. We go back, copy the Supabase dashboard username, paste it into the username field, and do the same with the password. Once signed in, the panel opens. You need to be cautious here. If you enter the admin password incorrectly while accessing the database interface, just one mistake is enough. It will ban your IP address, so be careful. Especially if you have a static IP address, be cautious because it will ban it. This way, we access Supabase's own interface. For those unfamiliar with its usage, there are different content creators you can check out their videos. I haven't been using it for a very long time, only for a few weeks, but I'm quite satisfied with some of the technical features it offers. The interface is also quite modern, especially since you can use it with a self-hosted installation on your own server, and it is a free service. It is very advantageous and a very good service. Now normally when we come to the Coolify panel and click on our projects, we have an N8N in a separate container. It's a separate project, and within another separate project, we have a database interface. You don't have to use this with N8N, it's a standalone service. That's all for now, friends. I will end this video here. However, shortly I will shoot another video. In that video, I will show you how to connect to the Supabase database here when we perform database operations within N8N. So currently, these are connected on the same server, but are separate projects from each other. I will show you how to access the databases within other projects on the same server. In short, how to configure our network settings. Later on, I will shoot another video. In that one, I will explain how to perform backup operations with Coolify. Thank you for watching.